Morning everybody, thank you for joining me today at Donny and Mark Leisure Kingdom. Over here at the showground, I have a beautiful sunny day and it's nice to feel the warmth on my face. And we've also got a gorgeous caravan to show you today. It's a 2020 Swift Elegance 645 4 berth. So it's twin axle with twin motor movers. It's got external gas point, uh, external shower point, uh, two tap and two tank water fillers. Audi heating, uh, dual Alco hitch lock with ATC, and you've also got just there, as I was already saying, there's your shower point and there's your water filler points. A little storage cassette there where you can pop inside there your ledger battery, and you can see there's also a little port for the cable to run because inside there is where you plug the hookup point as well. And there you go, nice alloy wheels, and you can see it's power touch evolution motor mover system. And just in the car, in there at the back, in the cassette is the yeah, toilet cassette. Around the back, you can see you've got housing if you want to add a bike rack. And you can see the previous owner has also had a reverse camera installed. So, down to this side, you've got a storage cartridge there that takes you underneath the uh, bed at the back. And then you've got your fridge vents, so you can see it's a real nice size fridge freezer. And then just here is where your barbecue point is and then another cupboard door which takes you underneath the sofa at the front so jumping inside in the habitation door first off you can see you've got a nice blackout blind makes it nice and private and a fly screen over the hab door make sure that is away before you close the door otherwise the bin may damage the fly screen so when if you want to jump in looking down at the front of the van you'll see we've got a nice big lounge two long sofas and you've got a pull-out section at the front that comes all the way across to this stopper and then makes the double bed so you can sleep widthways or lengthways. Dual USBs at the front, TV socket and three pin plip, uh, plug socket and you've got blackout blinds, curtains and fly nets on all of the windows at the front. There's lots of space because it is a wide van and there's lots of lights so you've got the additional skylight at the front roof light at the top and all of the vents and lights have fly screens and blackout blinds on always advisable to keep those tucked away otherwise you lose some of the tautness in the system when you pull it out so you don't want to leave them pulled out for too long and then you've got your tour bot reading lights all the way around so the little on off switches there and you've got three or four of those all at the front of the vehicle as well looking around into the kitchen area you can see you've got your worktop extension that folds away neatly just against this backboard here. Good size sink, tap, and then you've got your electric hot plate and three rings all on the hob above the oven and grill. Lots of storage in the kitchen as well. So you've got some nice units there. And just at the back you'll see that's your control panel for the solar panel. So that will send power back to the leisure battery and keep it topped up if you've got the leisure battery on the caravan while it's stored or not being used and you've also got a nice size microwave always remember when you're traveling take that out of the microwave because the last thing you want to happen is the microwave door come open that land on there and end up with glass all over your caravan and it will ruin your holiday so make sure you take it out storage cupboards underneath and then just opposite got a lot more storage Control panel for the Audi heating, so this has got a wet central heating system. And uh, so that runs on the electric and the gas, and it's aluminium pipes, runs all the way around the van. You can see just beyond the sofa, the radiators are just down there on the floor, so the air travels around nice and evenly, and the temperature's balanced from the front to the back. It just takes a little bit longer to heat up, but it's worth having because the water stays in the pipe works a lot longer if you shut the system down at night time. And it's just like being at home and having the radiators in a combi boiler and then you want your control panel here so that turns all your lighting internal external and turns your water pump on and off you've also got a television and a dvd and you've got a nice big fridge and a nice big freezer so that's a great size so on the control panel on the fridge freezer you can see you've got three power selections so it will run off a 12 volt battery the gas or the electric hookup or you can run it in automatic mode basically means if you've got a gas bottle connected and turned on and you've got the electric hookup if you were on site and some kids ran past and they were playing a game 
if one of them tripped over the electric hookup cable and accidentally knocked it out of the socket it would automatically flick over onto the next available power source so it didn't defrost or let your food go funky <laughs> <laughs> so into the bedroom at the back of this cupboard you've got the storage tank for the audi fluid so that's for the water system um it's a two-year blue or a five-year pink fluid and you've also got freestanding table in there so you can use it inside or outside his and hers power sockets on one each side of the bed so you've got three pin one side usb and the other light switches and plenty of storage and then just on this corner you've got the nice big vanity mirror storage cupboard tv point so 12 volt socket there tv point and a three pin plug so you can also have another television freestanding on here if you wanted to storage cupboard the radiator that runs all the way along the back wall you can see the aluminium pipe work inside there and then as we've already said on all of the windows you get the blackout blind and the fly screen and a nice big window that lets lots of air into the bedroom area so the bed underneath you've got plenty of storage and you've also got a spare wheel in there as well and you can see the bed pulls out slightly so i've just made that a little bit longer so of an evening pull the mattress out drop that down there and it makes your bed nice and big so going through into the bathroom so you've got toilet lots of storage cupboards and you've also got a separate shower cubicle instead of it being a walk-in wet room so that means you're not going to get all your carpet wet through when you're walking around in there and it's nice and private and you've got plenty of space for getting changed there is lots of storage in here lots and lots of room and lots of privacy because